I've been working in Westminster and in our community in the last few days and covering a number of issues. I'm very concerned about the rising cost of living and in particular the rise in interest rates which adds to the increase in food and fuel prices. I'm calling on the government to take more substantive action to tackle this. I'm also raising a number of other practical issues and I've been talking in Parliament about the delays in passports being produced by the government. This is a serious problem for many people who are looking forward to a well-earned holiday. Please do contact me if you've got concerns and please look at this clip to see what I'm saying to the Minister about it. Uh, thank you Madam Deputy Speaker. I'm grateful to my honourable friend for giving way. I think he's making an excellent speech. I have had 26 families contact my office in the last six weeks in various states of utter stress and frustration with the Home Office. And I just wanted to mention one, one particular case very briefly. I've had one family where they've been waiting 14 weeks for a passport for one family member to see a terminally ill relative. And to me, that sums up the problem. He's explaining it so perfectly. It's a lack of planning and a lack of strategy from the Home Office. They really need to apply themselves. I thank my friend for that intervention. completely agree with the points that he's making. In addition to that, I've been working on a number of local issues in Reading, Caversham and Emmergreen and in Woodley. Um, these include challenging utility companies where there are plans for extremely tall telecoms masts, even though there are other tall buildings and tall structures nearby which could be used. Um, tackling the issue of antisocial behaviour, um, particularly in and around the town centre, and trying to work with residents and Reading Borough Council on this difficult issue, and also working to protect heritage such as the um, very important Adwest building, which is one of our most wonderful um, art deco buildings in our area. Please do contact me if you've got any concerns about these issues or want to contact me about other matters. Thank you for your time.